Hi, it's Rachel here. This is day 63 of the 100 day project. I hope everybody is well and welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, so this one I did on the, we're going to make the ephemera today for this beautiful Bonnie from Living Life Creatively here on YouTube and the Creative uh, Paper Moth on Instagram. I'll link her videos in the description, uh, her um, channel and her Instagram in the description box um, and anyway so I've been working on this for three days this is the third day and so I decorated this one yesterday with the camera rolling and there and then I've got another one here that Lulu decorated the inside here which is super pretty and then um, I think I did inside. Yes, I did. So I really like that. I really like how that turned out. Um, I just did a collage of papers there and added a sticker and then on the back as well. Now I'm going to make the ephemera today for these. So let's see what we can get up to. I really don't have any plans. I'll just bring over my box full of um, bits and pieces and um, oh, shaking my thing as I do. Um, I'll bring over my box of pieces and stuff and we will see what we will make. So I'll just grab, first of all, I will grab a couple of these long ones and we'll make a couple of um, tags. Now, um, we didn't make these top loading, did we? But we did make those top loading. So I'll make two tags that will fit in there in the envelope. So I probably need to tear it about there. So let's get the tags, those two tags made. So how was your weekend? I had a, actually quite a, a good weekend and um, was able to do a bit of work, but also uh, relax. I did a bit of, you won't believe it, you can pick yourselves up off the floor when you hear this. I did a few household chores. Well, yes I did I pulled out my summer clothes that and and switched my drawers around that was quite a big chore for me um, it was actually exhausting and I really do oh, I do like that so just a minute let me I've got a big mess in my basket here. Ooh, all kinds of things fell out oh I didn't know I had those I'll just show you what fell out look at those they all fell out that's fun. Um, there's a piece of cardstock if I need that. There's playing cards. There's all kinds of things in here. Oh, we might revisit these. We haven't done these for a while. Oh, not a, not a bingo card. No, no. Put the bingo card away. I'm not a fan of bingo cards. Um, well, that was a funny thing to do. I just um, put a little bit of this thing there. That's a bit useless, really. Um, now, what was I talking about? Oh, there's a cute little bag. Wouldn't that look cute in there? Okay, stop getting sidetracked. And let's get on with the job at hand. So I'm going to make some journal cards. And um, I've got to decide what. this. Oh, I doubled that. Okay. Um, sometimes we don't know what the brain does. So these are very, all very nice. Now, what would I like to have going on behind? Well, I don't know. Maybe I might just even... Um, Put on a napkin this poor napkin's been floating around and he's not having a good time of it because he's look at he's all ripped and crumpled i mean it's not good right where's my book get my glue book if i can pick it up because this is a big chunky wonky okay so put this one over here and this first uh taggy thing actually i'll do it on that side because there's more script i'm going to um put a napkin on and then I'll put something else as well I was going to tear the napkin but then I, I I can just see that I've just decided to put the glue on without thinking and I'm actually going to change my mind and use this bird or will I use that birdie in the middle I think which birdie do I like that is the million dollar question maybe I'll use this one Okay, and I'm going to glue him down in a willy-nilly fashion. There we go. And then I'm going to tear it off. No, not tear it off, sorry. Wrong words. Cut it. I'm cutting today. I 
Okay. Just trim it down. Well, that could just even be folded over if you wanted to. And then, because um, I'm going to collage on the back anyway, but I think I'll, as you can see, I haven't sharpened my scissors yet. That's a job to be done. So I've done a lot of washing. I actually went to the antique market yesterday in my town and um, my man from Verona, who's not always there, he wasn't there last time, and he's not coming back until September and he had quite a lot of beautiful textiles. So I went um, a little bit crazy and bought a whole lot. So that way I'm all stocked up until, I think I like that there, I'm all stocked up until um, September. And I'm probably going to, I will be honest, I'm probably going to hoard quite a bit of it because I really like it. But... Um, I will put I will show you some and um, I just have to decide what I will sell because I need to hoard it for a little bit then I might sell it again so I'll sell a bit more okay so I'm just going to put that there and then because it's me I'm going to grab my you know what my labels because it doesn't really need a lot this one and so I just want to put a label on it and then I'll make it a tag shape, I think. Oh, I quite like that. I'm sad about covering up that flower though. Let me just double check. I, you know, I have to check everything. <laughs> oh, it's like a, it's like having a, a problem, isn't it? I just, uh, I just have to audition it all before I can see. I might like that one more. That's why, you know, that's why I need to check it all out before I make a final decision because mm, I quite like that one. I've got one already cut out. Well, that's a bigger one. No, I don't want a big one. You could, well, you could write on there with a... <coughs> excuse me, I'm losing my voice. You could write on there with a... It's upside down. You could write on there with a um, white gel pen. That could be quite cool. I might leave that one out as well. And then, of course, we've got the blues... But I don't have, I don't think I did the, that one in blue. Um, just let me double check that one. No, I think I like the ones that I've pulled out. Yes. Oh, I do. I do have them in blues, but I didn't, I don't have them printed out because I've used them. Oh, wait, we've got a Tracy Fox here. This could be a good one too. No, I think I like the other ones. Okay. We're not going to take too long making decisions, I hope. So let me just trim down this one. Hopefully I'm on screen. I don't really need those. I'm just, I've just got them there for reference. But we really do need quite a lot. I think I might just make um, a whole lot of ephemera and then we'll just go ahead and slip it all in. Just a whole lot of bits and pieces. Just for something different, I think. I don't know. Maybe I like this one more. That one. Bring it over closer so I can see that one. That one. I think I like the red one. I didn't mind the black one either, but I think I'll go with the red one. And then we need to do the back side. So it's very quiet. I think, I, I don't know if I mentioned Lulu's at school today, but um, afterwards I'm picking her and her friend up and we are going, I'm taking them to the, um, they want to have lunch at McDonald's. I never let Lulu eat McDonald's, but on the very rare occasion, once every, once every two years or so, she's allowed to eat McDonald's. Um, so yes, well, I'm taking her to McDonald's and we're going to, they're going to have lunch there and then we have to go and buy a birthday present because there's, she's got a very busy weekend coming up, Lulu. So I think I'll put that there. Just tear that off. Just a bit of um, new writing paper. 
and maybe a piece of do I have some plain old book page I do oh that's good I don't think I like that image I don't know what that man is doing to that lady I don't think I like it I didn't tear that very well put that there and then I'll put something else feeling a bit tired today don't know why maybe I went to bed late I think I went to bed at midnight that's all right and I think I slept well I don't remember any dreams so I would prefer that I can I would prefer that to cover the whole no I don't want it it's not doing it for me I need something else oh I know I know what I might need um, where are they uh, here we go one of these which one yes a bigger one coming off the page well let me trim it now like that one I'll trim that straight up so that's a piece that I could eventually use okay just put those aside oh goodness me so it goes like that okay Okay, and that's one done. Next, 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 next is this one. Okay, so what would I like to do on this? Put that pretty thing. okay let me just grab this over here oh my goodness it's full I need to do some serious sorting out here oh there's a pretty butterfly and here's a cute bird and things are falling on the floor and I've got book pages flying around well we are wanting to use those butterflies papers pretty papers oh pretty ladies Okay, it's all happening in this basket at the moment, it really is. Just trying to see quickly what else there is. No, okay. So I'll put that down there, move her over there. I'm not sure that I'm going to use her. And just let me have a look at these pretty papers. They might be a quick solution. Tear it down a little bit further. So these um, papers uh, are um, their reproductions of their, you know, I think they might be block printed or I don't know, screen printed sort of papers, but they're very pretty. I bought them in Florence. They're very pretty and they, um, and they're not, not, you know, overly expensive. I like that. I like the color of this paper. Works well with that pink. the other way and I need something happening up there um, I think that's all too pink I've got to cut one here do I want another doily yes uh oh <coughs> very sorry I had to sneeze and that was a little sneeze by my standards oh dear sorry about that I don't like doing that on the into the microphone I do apologize okay come on oh I have to use something what can I use to um, oh, I, oh I put them away just a sec here get one of these to help me because they stick those um 
they stick to my fingers. They're, oh, that's so much better. Right, and then I want to decorate it with something. Oh, I didn't wet my towel, but I do have another packet of wet ones that I had found that, oh, that's nearly finished, but I can use those. Mm, it's nearly dry. Oh, and I don't like the smell of those ones. Okay, that. Possibly that. Where's the butterflies gone? That one's way too big. No, none of those. Put that over there. Those are nice. Do I want to lose the big one? Maybe I could just get the book and see if there's another one. We've got time. If I take, oh, excuse me for bashing. If I take longer than my designated time, what I might do is do a, a two-part video. You might get a bonus today. That, that might happen. Let's see how much we get done. That way I don't feel so much um, stress to be quick. That's a pretty one. Oh, if I cut that one then I lose that one. So no, although I do like that one. I would like to find one similar colors to this one here because I, th I really did like the way those colors were would go with this I think hmm oh there's a super big one no none of those your mothy thingies Um, mm -hmm. that's a possibility that one that one's very big wow some of them have such complex patterns on there Oh, I like that little one too. I'll just tear out this page. And then I'm going to tear out this page. Right. whizzing around here and we'll just trim off this piece here No, after all of that, after all of that. Okay, after all of that, I'm not going to use that. And um, I think he's too pale. That's what's annoying me. He's too pale. Oh, just a second. I've got this um, that I printed out. Oh, I do like that. And trim that down. We are doing a mix today, mix of anything that I might have printed and um, things that I have. Yes, I think that's going to go on there. 
and then let me see over here just put a little strip of this maybe okay I'm just going to stitch around that I won't bring my sewing machine over because I've got a lot of stuff in front of it. So to complete this project, as you can see, I know I am working on two at the same time, but to complete the project, it seems there is um, quite a lot of, takes quite a bit of time. This is super nice paper, this. Very textural and lovely. So if you were like wanting to make it as a standalone item and you were wanting to fill it, does it, yes, it's quite, um, oops, quite time consuming, I think. However, it is a lot of fun and they're super cool and there were a few suggestions in the comments which are really great thank you for those um, that it would be a lovely um, interactive thing to include in a journal um, as a book page you know put like so it as when I say that I mean like sew it into your signature mm, come on I think I need to get the card Okay, I'll revisit that afterwards, see if it's stuck down. And then I had a flash. I might like to exert myself and grab a washi tape. Just note, I just don't use these very often. I should, because they're very pretty. Just a little piece of washi tape there, maybe. Maybe across there. Yep, that'll do it. And I might just trim this off in the tag fashion like the other one. I should do what um, Gail does and have trim, trim one of these so I can use it for my tag corners. I like that. It's cute. So let that one dry. They'll get stitched around afterwards. Put the washi tapes on the ground. And what's next? So we've got two tags. And put those over. Oh, I'm just going to, let me just move this mess here. Just throw it over there. It's like, sh it's a musical mess. Okay. You go over there go over there and we'll put the completed projects there right what we need now are these are some of my printable postcards and maybe I'll use this one this one's got some texture on it and we might decorate those okay that over there that over there okay so what's happening next put these over here sorry guys but I do get myself really in a bother with this mess. I'm going to put the butterfly that's already cut out there. Get that out of the way. Or we'll keep the birdie in view. Might like him. And then there's some of my German magazine things. Put that over there. Okay, I'll stop shuffling now. Just trying to see what I've got. Okay. So I might like a piece of this. And this is just, a, as you know, um, a scrapbooking piece of paper that I had and then I'll just I'm just spending down because I put some of my I had so, so many biggish scraps that um, I had to put them on the floor just covering up the address there oh I probably should move that out of the way I'm not going to have too much on here I don't think that and maybe little piece of lace could be nice 
and keep it simple I think I do like that bit so I think I'll glue down this bit as I say to you always just what if you really like one bit glue it down now it does occasionally happen that it doesn't work like that um, the other day I did end up covering up something that I did but did you see I fixed it I covered it up and I I did something else that I was more happy with I might slide that along there and then I'm going to put my butterfly there so we're going quite um, naturey in these in these um, what are they called folders So that's that. Now let me just grab my sticker. Oh, sorry, pulling the thing because you know I am attached to the iPad. It'll stop shaking in a second. There we go. Um, and let me just see if there's any sort of label things. Probably not because um, like something like that could be nice. Uh, just because there's already a stamp there. So I don't want to go too overboard with, I'll just grab a few stickers out I think. Yeah, I don't want to go overboard with anything too much. I'll keep some of those out as well. Little mushroom. Oh, find your happy place, that's cute. I mean there's so many things in here I haven't even seen them been able to sort of go through it and see them those oh that one might be better yes well why don't we make a start with those I'll just grab out a butterfly just in case Just pulling out a few things um, even for the the next thing we make so I don't have to really go through it all again oh I don't remember that one it's all so cute Oops. Oh, that's interesting. Take out a few of these, a few of those. Okay, let's just stop there for a second. I've got plenty here. So there's that. I'm probably more interested in a florally thing here. probably a small none of those because I've got a stamp on there I did like that somewhere but no um, I think I like that small flower it's too big they're all stamps mushrooms no okay I think I'm going to stick this here and then on the back I'm going to stick some some straw paper okay got it and I like this because these are kind of like those um, washi stickers and so you cannot see a little bit of the background and I like that oh I forgot about that that well that will actually get stitched up there because it's going to be a tab so that's perfect I really like that that's perfect really like it. it's back to my old my old self I feel like get some of these I've already got these already cut and I'm just going to glue it onto the back and then it will be stitched around I'm not doing anything too complex because I think the folders are complex enough as it is without going crazy with the ephemera in it although as I progress I might change my mind 
okay I trim that off and that is ready to stitch and I think I'll put that little bit of lace near it just so I remember perfect put those together and then where's my other one gone here let's see now what do we want to use here move those out of the way okay what else do I have flying around here oh I've got those could have oh I quite like her and let's see what I could add I like that it says fit ends and it's 1921 maybe I'll have her no I liked her over there let me see a bit of this oh that's no good Throw that on the floor. No. That's not Florence. Just let me see what that would look like. And then with a bit of that over the top of it. Nope. So I have that and that, and maybe a bit of book page. I think I'll glue those down. Now it says fit ins and it also has a, a stamp on Napoli. That's interesting. Wonder why. It's interesting, but I'm covering it up. Okay. there oops oh, I think these die cuts um, these die cuts actually like when they when the the frame cuts them I think they get a little um, edge on them and if you know if you know what I mean and so then when you go to glue if you start on the edge um, it, it cuts into the glue and then you get a big chunky piece of glue. That's what happens to me anyway. Put that there. And then I'm going here. I'm going I'm going to that place. And I'm going no, I don't want red. No, I'm not going to that place because I don't like it. Too many circles. Nope, not going to that place. They're not doing it for me. So let's go to this place over here and see what's happening over here like a big flower could be good oh yes I think I like that and then I think I'll put not that but I think I'll put a little bit of textile there or something but just let me have a look at or maybe a, a bird cage no no this flower's the best so far Or that one you'll be able to see the 21 underneath still two which is really good mm. 
Yes, I think I like this smaller one. So I'll put that there. Thank heavens for stickers. You'll notice I'm not dropping the plastic bit that comes off the back because um, I'll probably not see it when I clean up afterwards and then I'll, I'll slip on it. That would be fun. There we go, I like that. I feel like it just needs a little something there to balance it. Of course, I wouldn't be happy, would I? And I'm just going to grab my knitting. And I might just put a little tiny piece of this there. Okay, and we're going to just, again with this one, I'm just going to uh, put some straw paper on the back. Who suggested this to me? Someone suggested this to me to use one of the cards to help me glue down things that were sort of, they have holes in them and... Um, and and they stick to your fingers when you're trying to glue them down. So I'm actually videoing in the morning today, which I never do. I usually do it in the afternoon. Um, so I probably don't have any exciting stories to tell you because I videoed in the afternoon yesterday and not much has happened since then. scissors these ones okay and that's going to get some lace on it as well so that'll finish that up I think so I'll put that one there and then what's next we won't do any more postcards they're all postcards that I've got printed so I'll put those away and we need to do something else Oh, I've got these that were, um, these are, um, uh, what I think they're from the Graphics Fairy or they're from Artie Mays. I'm, I'm starting to get confused between all the different things because I, I printed them up a while ago. Um, I probably should do that afterwards, but maybe I'll try and decorate these because I've got them printed and I haven't done anything with them. So I think I might get my folder with the doilies oh my sister's doily will look very nice on there yes it will that one will go on there and then maybe I'll do a little doily on another one I'll just keep a few oh I do like this one too I'll keep those out okay trim that off about I think halfway I think I'm going to put that there mm-hmm yes I am this is a very quick little project okay that's going there and then I'm thinking I would like a little butterfly but not that one Oh, there's a mushroom. No. Sticker, no. Got papers everywhere. Just throw those over there. Go on. They're confusing me. Okay. Paper. That's that nice butterfly that Lily didn't she pulled it out yesterday and didn't decided we decided not to use that one. I'll just cut that big long bit off. Sorry, butterfly. Right. Oh, 
I don't like those bits. I'm going to cut them off. They're spindly little bits that I don't like. That's better. He's a little bit too big. I need a smaller one. Oh, maybe that one. I'm not putting too much on these little envelopey thingies. Not, what am I saying? Envelopes, tags. I mean, I meant to say tags. Probably got envelopes on the brain. you know what I think I like him flying in no flying out he's flying out this one's going to fly out it's going to fly out and no I don't think I can have any of that Unless I were to do something like that. No, nope. it's all too much. Just have him flying out, maybe. Yes, I don't think there's anything here. So we'll just glue him in place. Let me see. No. Okay. I'm just... Oh, wait. I've got to cover up the other side. And the other side I'm just going to do with book page. She doesn't look very happy, that lady. Okay. And let me put hole punch my hole and that will get something pretty in the through there I just need to trim it off a little bit better and I just wanted to see what if I might like and I do like that on the other side now just a sec where did I put it there yes I think I'll glue that down on the other side and then I feel happier with the whole thing doesn't matter if it doesn't line up okay so that's that one and now I should have another one here and I might as well just get that going with the the book page on the other side So yes, um, I'll check the time in a minute and check that I'm recording. That would be a bit funny, wouldn't it? Um, and then um, I may, quite like that on there, but I would need to make it smaller. Because I'd like to see just a little bit more of the background. Um, 
I would probably do a part two. So I don't want to drag it out for days, this project. Um, so I'm thinking I'll do a part two. You get two videos today. Don't know how long they'll be, but. I know I've got two straight edges and oh I need to tear that one down even further well that's good then I've only got one straight edge great still mm. Okay, that's good. Yes, I like that. Very simple. Fold this one over. And it's probably off screen where I'm gluing, but you know how it all works. Okay, so that's that one, and I'm quite happy with that. I could decide on the back to stick something little like that. That would be pretty. Why don't I do that? Just to put a little bit of decoration on the back. That is, of, of course, if I can get it off the plastic, yes. Trim that. Okay, good. Very pretty. Okay, let me see how I'm going. I'll throw out those plastic bits. Ooh, nearly fell over. I'm not recording. So it appears I was recording. Um, so I'll join these two together. Hopefully you stick around. Um, and I'll just show you quickly what I've done. And then I'm going to do a part two because it, it was it, it, it was up to number 47, uh, 47 minutes. So um, I thought I wasn't recording because it wasn't, normally it shows me the, you know, the minutes and it didn't wasn't showing anything. I just thought it wasn't going. So I'm sorry about that. It made you a bit seasick. So this is what I made in the first 47 minutes here and I'm going to uh, stitch around those in the next video and make some more things that's going to go up there so that's that one okay so I'll sign off now I've joined these two together I'll join these two videos together and I'm going to make another video bye